I'm going to go for the um, direct fight and send which ones these uh, these hang on these are the ones that haven't been in a fight so far uh, these are the ones the yes that's right send these over they'll get the support anyway from these troops here on the bridge I'm not expecting them to need that though really at all Okay, you can see how things are very, very well in our favour. Um, slightly over the halfway mark. We'd lose a lot of men in a battle like this, of course, from both of these armies. I don't really see much point in that, so I'm, I'm going to fight this battle. Uh, see how well it turns out as to... Well, see how interesting it is, rather, as to whether I show it or not, I think. Well, I risked my troops a, little bit in that, a bit in that battle, but I didn't mind really. It, um, it built up some chevrons, that's the main thing. But look down here. Weird thing. Hazars came on and killed, what, 37 men and lost 27 of their own and gained three chevrons. They already had one. They went up to four. It's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It really doesn't. Yeah. Russian Jaegers here, down at the bottom, they killed nine and lost 59. Yeah, it went down to only 31 men. They've gained two chevrons. Now he gained two chevrons in one battle. OK, one was about to come on, maybe, but from killing only nine men. So you imagine the, the chevron came on from what they previously had to make three chevrons, and then they killed another eight men to make four. It's very strange. I don't understand it. But anyway, uh, main thing is, we've defeated that army now, and we're getting closer and closer to the Star Fortress, which is what we really want to take on at the end of the day. Um, this is where the fun starts. So, what I'd like to do now then is um, take this army here with the four uh, unicorns and blast away at the walls of this place here. Now, there are one, two, three, four. He's only got a horse in there, and he's got... Yeah, but uh, all these here will come on as armed citizenry as well, won't they? So we have to bear that in mind, I suppose, as well, don't we? Um, I thought I had um, an agent in there. Maybe I don't, or something's happened to him. Not too sure. But uh, anyhow, no matter. Uh, let's go for it. I don't know why, but for some reason it's not letting me target that place. Very old. Now it will. Now let's hope it allows me to fight the battle. Well, unfortunately it wouldn't let me fight the battle. I tried three times, all different ways, stopping on the road, starting again, moving off the road, attacking from there, sieging first and attacking again. It just wouldn't allow me, it just kept crashing each time. So I've had to do an auto-resolve, which is such a big shame. I was so looking forward to attacking a fort like this. Um, it, it really is a big shame. There aren't that many troops in there. I haven't got a lot of troops. It's almost like certain maps aren't included in the game. You just can't get them. I just don't know why. I really don't. Anyway, I just have to hope that when my rockets come up and I get another Star Fortress attack, then I can use them against that. Uh, so that will make up for it, I hope. So anyway, successful. Um, lost a lot of troops, 150, when really I think I'd have just blown them apart from a distance. But uh, never mind, we've taken the uh, Mecklenburg regional capital. Oh, I could even liberate it, couldn't I? <laughs> I'm not going to liberate this. I've got so many armies that I, I think I can occupy this quite happily. I'm not even sure what the area is, really. Alright, uh, oh let's um, repair that. And we'll repair this as well. Uh, don't honestly think I need to recruit anything. Um, they're all on a moderate replenishment rate, but they haven't lost a lot of men. It annoys me a bit I've lost some of these, but uh, I'll stop grumbling. There we go. Uh, and we have a trading port. Uh, did I work out actually how much I should get for this? 
income 690. It's not really high, is it? But we're taxing very low at the moment anyway, so needs a bit of building up. It'll it'll grow 43 per turn. That's 100 every two turns. It's not bad, is it? So in 20 turns, we're going to get ourselves a thousand out of that. So that's not bad. That's in, that's an increase, of course. At 20%, so that comes out as uh, well 200, of course, doesn't it? That we'll be getting each turn from there. So anyhow, let's see how we go. Uh, right now. Having taken that and repaired the buildings, I'll look around just see if there's anything in there I don't need. You know, like a university or anything. There isn't, is there? Um, so, what we now need to do is move forward in our positions. I think I'll just move up to, say, here now. These are the ones that come from way over here, of course. And he's here. And now in a position to attack the French directly. Oh, maybe he's got a star fortress in there. <laughs> no, he hasn't, has he? Oh, what a shame. Uh, that's going to be my next target, isn't it? Hanover. Um, before I do that, I've got lots of troops to bring forward. Let's see if I've missed any uh, agents as well. Right, OK. Yeah, there's agents all over the place, aren't there? So I've still got the agents to move. I've had so many crashes and, you know, so many, you know, fighting a battle and finding the one after it crashes and then having to do it again, all that kind of stuff, you know. But, um, you know, going all the way back to turn ends and all that kind of stuff. That I've just lost track of, of where I'm up to. So I know the spies have to um, uh, have to move forward now, don't they? So I need to give some thought to that now and sort of get myself back into where I'm up to in the game, you know, and then sort it out from there. Uh, OK. Because what I was getting was, um, I don't know if you remember, but over here I had an ambush situation. If they were too close to each other, those troops there, the game crashed. So, um, and then I'd fight that battle and it would go well, great. So I'd then attack here and then it would crash. So I'd lost everything, you know, because I, I don't save um, before battles or anything. I, I, you know, so the only thing I can do is go back to the auto save, which is at the beginning of the turn. Um, and then, of course, I have to do the whole thing again. I've had to do that about... In one way or another, over these last two turns, about 12, maybe 20 restarts, you know, um, going back. And it's just taken forever, it really has. I, I almost gave up at one stage. I thought, no, this is just too frustrating. It really is getting ridiculous. But, I mean, I could still win the campaign with auto-resolve, so I just have to kind of accept that maybe I need to be in a situation all the time where I can win on an auto-resolve, you know, and just double plan, really, for that to happen. Who's that? Oh, Oldberg. Right. OK. Mm. Right, OK, well, it does look like I've got him under the cosh here, doesn't it? You know, I've got, um, what, say, three armies here. All can just about reach, certainly in support of, one army there attacking. So it looks like that place is going to go now, Hanover, doesn't it? Under attack from at least two units, perhaps more. And strong enough, I would suggest, to be able to hold off an attack, perhaps afterwards, from an army such as this as well. So, um, if I look further down... Um, these I put near a road so they can reach. I hope they can. Yes. It even looks like he can reach as well. And if he can reach, then he can come in support as well. This one here can come can come up in support. Has he got a full army? Yeah, I have as well. So it looks to me as though um, this place is going to go as well. So Kessel and Hanover may well drop this turn. If not, it'll be next turn that they go. Um, and then it's up to the French, really, which way they want to go. Do they want to come down to Marseille to attack me there? Do they want to try and attack me up in the north? It's entirely up to them. But uh, I think, um, it, well, it certainly looks to me, anyway, at the moment, as I've got them under the cosh. I think I need to, you know, sort of touch some wood uh, before I say that, really, don't I? But you can see what I mean about um, crashes. If I were to think, right, OK, one unit of mine is enough to defeat that unit there, and I take that unit there, all the way over to there now, yeah, um, and and it just crashes, yeah, the game crashes, then what I have to do to do a restart is to go right back to the beginning of the turn, which includes this attack here and this one here, you know, and I have to refight this battle, you know, and uh, it's just, oh, it's a nightmare, you know, it's a, it's a real nuisance. So I have to double-think myself all the time and think, right, OK, you're going to need to bring two armies up this way. So if it does crash, yeah, um, then, well, that was the point anyway. I'd still end up having to come back to here anyway, wouldn't I? Oh dear, I don't know. Anyway, 
food for thought. I need to think about that. It's very odd, this, that some maps will work and some won't. It's nothing to do with the fortress. It's to do with... It's almost like some maps are not there, you know, for, for it to access. You get um, up to the point when um, you're about halfway through loading the battle. It shows you the battle scene, as in, you know, the, the bit where the bar is coming up along the bottom. And it shows you where your troops are and where his are, you know, in terms of blue and red on the overall map. It never breaks into the actual battle map. It never gets that far. It's almost like it, it's found the map that it wants to give you, but then it can't give it you as a battlefield, and it just crashes. It's as simple as that, you know. Um, anyhow, very, very odd. It's like it's searching for a map, you know. But, um, anyhow, I'm just wondering if there's something wrong with my hard drive or something, and that various parts of the program just haven't saved, you know, because they're just not available or can't be accessed. I really just don't know. There's something very odd going on there, isn't there? But, uh, anyway.